On day one, I was assembled as a robot warden. I was in a strange laboratory with a scientist standing before me. My name is Rick. Your humanity's last hope against the robot takeover of this world. Robot takeover? What do you mean? But before he could say anything else, a massive robotic hand smashed into the lab. He started to attack the scientist. Rick, you have no chance of defeating me. The world will soon be mine. The robotic hand turned his attention toward me. Ouch, that hurt. I was just a baby, so I only had 10 hearts. I had to run away, or else I'll be defeated. As I started to run, I realized I had something. It was a speed boost. I activated it and was able to make a quick getaway from the robot. There is no way you can hide, Robot Warden. On day two, I escaped the evil robot and found myself in a city. As I looked into the city, I realized that it was also being attacked by other robots. What's up with all these robots? I had to get out of here. I was about to run off when I suddenly heard a scream. Someone was getting attacked. Ah, I can't just leave them. I ran in and used a blaster? Whoa, I have this? It took some time, but I used my weapon and was able to take him down. Nice. Looks like I'm not as weak as I thought. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Time to go. I knew that I wasn't strong enough to take on all these robots, so I ran inside the nearest building. I didn't hear the sound of footsteps, so I think the coast is clear. Man, I turned around and found a group of civilians inside. They were all huddled together and scared. Stay away, you evil robot woman! Evil robot? I'm a good robot. The crowd started chanting for me to leave, so I had no choice but to get out. As I ran away from the city, I could hear a strange beeping sound. I noticed that I was starting to run low on power. Oh, great. I continued traveling until I saw what looked like a laboratory. I didn't know what was inside, but I don't have any other options. I began to search the chests, and I found some batteries. Great. I quickly replaced them, replenishing my energy. Who is there? Is that the robot warden? There was another scientist in the lab. He told me that he worked with Rick, my creator. He then gave me some sad news. If I I was here without Rick, and that must mean he was gone. What? No, that can't be true. Luckily, he was a very intelligent man. He left behind these for you to follow. The scientist dropped me a map that would lead me to one of Rick's old science facilities where I could find more information. He told me to be careful. Robots would be hunting me. That evil hand, Talos, was not far from taking this world over. I thanked him for the information and began to follow the map. I hope I can find what I'm looking for there. On day Day four, the map led me to a destroyed laboratory. I have a strange feeling that the robots have something to do with this destruction. I walked inside, and it didn't look good either. There has to be some kind of upgrade inside this place. Something. Suddenly, a person appeared in front of me, and it was Rick? Wait, what? How are you here? I quickly noticed that this wasn't actually him. It must have been some kind of hologram? You are one step closer to stopping Talos. Rick's hologram told me that inside the location, he left me a manual, which would allow me to obtain upgrades that robots had stolen and placed across the world. Additionally, I have left you a very useful mining gadget. The hologram faded away, and I started to search the lab. I found both a manual and a drill? I think I know what he wants me to do with this. I went to the woods nearby and used the drill to collect wood, and then created a hole to quickly grab some stone. Thanks to this drill, I was able to fix up the laboratory and make it look half decent. This drill upgrade is gonna be very useful. On day five, I left my new home and began to follow the manual to find my upgrades. I was looking for some kind of large warehouse. I came across a large building and believed it was the place. I started to search around and was able to find some iron. And yes, an upgrade schematic. I then heard strange noises behind me and turned around to see a bunch of creeper bots coming at me. I started to fight them off using my weapon, but some of them got close enough and exploded. Ah! I was able to avoid most of the damage and take most of them out. I was really starting to feel confident with my new abilities. I knew I would find you here. The robotic hand, Talos, reappeared, and he started to attack me. I tried to fight against him, but he was far too powerful. I had no choice but to flee. Thanks to my speed boost and small size, I was able to lose him fairly easily. I was tired of running away, but I knew I wasn't strong enough to fight back. I needed to obtain whatever upgrade I had just found. Using the manual, I continued towards another structure. It led me into an abandoned facility. I hope this is what I was searching for. As I walked throughout the place, I came
came across a strange machine. The instructions told me to place my schematic on it and get inside. I did just as it told me to. I started to feel strange and heard a lot of mechanical noises before becoming a full-size robot warden. I even had 20 hearts. Now, I just need to keep finding more upgrades to become strong. Ah! Ah! Uh, please, just don't hurt me. I ran into what looked like a robot minion, but he seemed different than the rest. Uh, please, oh gosh, I'm just a tiny scholar, but uh, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight either, so let's just part ways from here, okay? That way, neither of us cause the other one any trouble. Wait a second, oh, let me come with you. The robot warden was said to be the savior of this world. I looked at the robot and felt bad for it. You know what? I could really use a friend. Come on, let's go. The bot happily joined me, and we made our way back to the lab. On day seven, I returned back to my base with Ace. He was very appreciative of me. My home, though, was not large enough for both of us. So I went out and collected some materials to build him a base. Together, we were able to create him a house quickly. I then started to ask him some questions about what he knew about Talos. Talos has been trying to take over the world for some time now. Ace told me that Talos had been working on a robot robotic army, making life hard for all living creatures. Man, so everyone's been affected by him? I had to get stronger. I read the upgrade manual, and it told me of another location where I could find an upgrade. I then began my journey toward the location. Do not allow the robot warden to grow any stronger, Kirion, as you wish. On day eight, as I continued looking for the next upgrade, I noticed smoke nearby, and a village was being attacked by a large robot. And the robot looked like some kind of colossal knight. It was chopping down houses and destroying the village. He was about to attack a villager until I yelled for him to stop. The knight turned around and approached me. Ah, uh, you must be the robot warden that Talus told me about. He told me that his name was Killian, and he was made to destroy and crush humanity. Soon, robots will destroy anything non-robot and overtake this inferior world. No, that's wrong. We weren't made to destroy humans. We're here to help them. Killian asked me to join him and be part of the winning side. He said my abilities were wasted by trying to save these people. No, I'll never join you or Talos. Then you will be destroyed just like the rest. We began a fight and he was very powerful. I was able to avoid some of his attacks. I was starting to run low on hearts when Killian slammed his hammer down on the ground and launched me into the air. Ah! On days 9 to 10, I crash landed in a pool of water. Ouch, ouch. I quickly made my way out and my body was starting to go haywire. It hurt me a lot and I tried to use my speed boost again. Ah, uh, I guess I need to travel slowly for now. I continue to walk through the jungle when I began to hear the beeping of my battery. Ah, uh, I need to replace them again. I did, which was my final battery. Man, okay, I'm gonna have to find more soon. The journal had told me the robots had hidden one of my upgrades inside a desert temple. I eventually made my way out of the jungle and began to cross into the desert. On days 11 to 12, I spotted the large desert temple. I went inside and another hologram of Rick appeared. It looks like you were able to find the desert lab. I'm proud of you, Fozo. The hologram told me how the world was filled with his creations like Talos and Killian. Wait, there are more than just those two monsters? This world is filled with danger thanks to Talos. You need to work on finding your upgrades. I looked around the laboratory and found a book with instructions on a new upgrade. I read the book and kept looking around the facility. I was able to find some redstone and combine them with the iron I collected. Thanks to these ingredients, I was able to upgrade my gun into a cannon. It's very powerful, but be warned, it cannot be used often. Sweet! The upgrade book had ended, and I turned to ask Rick more questions, but his hologram was gone. Great. I left the temple and made my way back to the lab. On days 13 to 14, I arrived back at my base. Ace was waiting for me, and I showed him my new upgrades. I also told him about everything that I learned. <laughs> You should be much better protected now. I hope so. I started to think about what Rick had told me. His creations? If Rick created them, why would they turn bad? I heard the familiar beeping sound I knew as my energy level. I need to find some batteries fast. I asked the ace if he had any batteries he could share with me. Unfortunately, I am solar powered. I don't need to consume batteries like you. He then told me that he knew where the creator of the batteries lived. He said he was in a village pretty close to the lab. I think my friend and left to get the batteries. This is where I will construct the tower. How do you know it will work? Soon, I will begin testing my mind control. 
checkpoint now. Find the robot warden. On days 15 to 16, I was heading off toward where the battery creator was. I spotted it, but something looked wrong. The village was in complete ruins. Oh no, the robots must have attacked it and destroyed it. I called out for anyone, but I got no response. Come on, please, someone. I scanned around the village and there was no signs of life. Man, the robots are working very quickly on their takeover. As I continued scanning across the village, I managed to find a battery. Okay, this will hold me off for now. Robot Warden! Have you come to destroy what is left? Run, everyone, run! I told the villager I meant no harm and was just trying to find the battery creator. The villager was very skeptical of what I was saying. He told me that he, in fact, was the creator of the batteries, but refused to tell me where the rest were. Listen, you have to believe me. If you don't give me the batteries, robots will take over the world. I'm trying to stop Talos and his robots. Judging by the fact I hadn't heard him yet, I think he was starting to believe me. He described a large factory that he used to work at and gave me the location. To show my appreciation, I told the villager where my lab was. Thank you, you scary robotic beast. With my home destroyed, I have nowhere left to live. We parted ways and I continued on my journey. On day 17 to 18, I arrived at the large battery factory and began to search it. I needed to find spare batteries or I was not going to last much longer in this world. In one of the chests, I found a bunch of larger batteries. Perfect! I consumed some of them to replenish my power. I was preparing to leave, but I felt like there was some Something more here. I found another manual for Rick. This one seemed different though. The manual detailed a very specific set of items needed to create something. A robotic sonic boom. Wow. If I can get this, this will be amazing. Find something you like. It was Killian. What are you doing here? I'm here to destroy you, robot warden, while Talos works on his mind control device. Mind control? Before I could respond, Killian was attacking me again. With my new cannon upgrade though, I was able to inflict some serious damage on him. Unfortunately, it had a long cooldown. He was able to keep attacking me while I had to wait for my attack to restart. Oh no, I realized that I was running low on hearts. I was disappointed that I had to retreat again, but I knew I couldn't risk being defeated here. I went off to avoid more conflict. I will find you! I returned to the lab and found Ace was with the villager from earlier. Oh, I'm glad you arrived. Hopefully soon, you'll see that this is a safe place to stay at. I used the cobblestone and wood I had left over and built the villager a new home. There, now you should be nice and safe. Suddenly, there was a growling and the villager didn't look too good. What's wrong with him? Well, Fozo, he's kind of a human. He needs to eat. Oh, uh, that's right. Humans don't eat like me and Ace. I immediately left the lab and came back with some chickens. I quickly built a pen for them across the villager's house. After that, I decided to talk to Ace about the laser I needed to find. I told him that this would be the key to defeating Talos and stopping the robots. Ace told me that finding the laser will probably be dangerous. What do you need to find your upgrade, robot warning? I read the manual and saw I would need to collect unobtainium ore, the ultimate battery, and a karma nuke core. My robotic friend told me he actually knew where I could find the unobtainium ore. It was locked in an underground structure a few days away from where we were. Perfect. I thanked him and headed out. On days 21 and 23, I traveled deep underground into the cave system that Ace told me about. Eventually, I came to a large structure in the cave. I made my way inside and started to look around. I found a strange looking black ore I had never seen before. This must be the unobtainium ore. Before I could mine any of it, I heard noise and a giant scary creature started to attack me. Ah, there's a few of them. I was able to stun them with my cannon. This should give me enough time to run. You creatures will obey my commands. <laughs> On days 24 to 26, I was running back to base. I saw a village was under attack by robotic wolves. I went in the village and used my scanners to figure out what was going on. The wolves were being controlled by Talos, of course. I quickly sprang into action and used my hunter cannon to blow the wolves away from the villagers. The wolves tried to attack and bite me, but it had little effect on my robotic armor. I shot another round of my hunter cannon at the wolves and was able to scare them away. Man, I wonder 
wondered how Talos controlled those wolves. I need to figure that out and fast. I checked on the villagers to see if they were okay. Scary robotic warden, why are you helping us? Listen, I don't work with Talos, okay? He is a monster and must be stopped. The villagers seemed to not quite believe me, but told me I could prove it wrong by finding the missing villagers. I used my scanner to find any tracks left and found a trail leading out of the village. All right, fine. I'll go rescue the captives. On days 27 to 29, I continued to follow the tracks to what appeared to be an outpost in the nearby forest. I could see villagers were in cages. Kill! Robot warden! Kill! Kill! Wolves began pouring out of the outpost from all directions and started to attack me. I told them to disobey the orders, but it was no use. As much as I wanted to help them, I couldn't risk being taken out now. I fought off against the wolves. Their numbers gave me some serious issues, but I was able to overcome all of them and take them out. I freed the villagers and then began to search the outpost for anything useful. In one of the chests, I found a laser sword. Whoa, this will definitely give me a boost in my attack. The villagers thanked me for freeing them and told me that their home was destroyed. I offered them a place to stay at my base and the villagers agreed, seeing I had their best interest in mind. I returned to the lab with the freed villagers. Together, Ace and I built a few houses for our new friends to live inside of. I knew the villagers were going to need some more food, so I built them a farm. They seemed really happy that I was around, and I was glad that they viewed me as a friend. Hopefully, when this is all over, robots and humans can live in peace together. Were you able to acquire the Unobtainium? The guardians were too powerful, but I found this. I showed Ace my laser sword, and he was amazed by my new upgrade. Oh, wow. I've never seen this this type of sword before. This is sick. Me neither. I think with this though, I might be able to defeat the temple guardians. I set off to retrieve the unobtainium. On days 33 to 35, I traveled back to the underground structure and was ready to take on the guardians. I called out for them and in a mass, they began to rush at me. I used my new laser sword and quickly cut through one of them. Wow, this sword is super powerful. There were a lot of them though and I had to use everything I had. I blasted the final one of my cannon, taking it down. As I defeated them, I'd gain another 10 hearts. Hey, look at that. I have 30 now. I spotted the ore and used my drill tool to mine as much of it as I could. After I was finished, I searched the temple for any other items that could be inside of it. Hey, look at that. I found some iron and three diamonds. I wasn't sure what to craft though with the diamonds, so I held on to them for now. With the iron, I was able to create a full set of armor. Look at that. I'm proud of how much I've done in the last few days. I was feeling stronger than than ever. On days 36 to 38, I left the temple, and standing before me was Killian. What are you doing? I came to destroy this temple, but it looks like you beat me to it. He asked me if I've encountered any new creatures recently. I knew that he was talking about those brainwashed wolves. Talos is trying to brainwash everyone, and you're just okay with that? Yes. What better way to control the world than control the people? You and Talos won't have your way. I charged at Killian and sliced him with my laser sword. He reeled back from the damage, and I knew that my recent upgrades gave me a fighting chance. Kilion then hit me, and it took some of my hearts away. I shot Kilion with my hunter cannon. This was my chance, but he pulled out a device, and it weakened me. Ugh, my systems were failing. Uh, is this some kind of EMP? That's right. Enjoy your rest, robot warden. Oh, no. I'm shutting down. On days 39 to 41, I woke up in a strange place. Where am I? I was in some kind of prison cell, and I noticed that all of my items were gone from my inventory. Is anyone here? Foolish robot warden, do you really think you could stop me? The robotic hand was right in front of me. Talos isn't too late to stop. Please, just stop. Talos told me he would never stop. He then said that he was originally created by another scientist to help humanity, and that scientist was Rick. Soon, I realized that the people of this world would not manage themselves. He explained that he had watched so much destruction caused from the war between players. So much time wasted, so many valuables stripped from caves, taking away everything from this world they were in. He had enough. 
It is up to us to protect this world. Join me. You do not need to die for them. And what? Just kill every single person in the world? You're insane. Talos told me that I will stay here until I am dismantled. He then walked away, leaving me in the cell alone. Oh, my system's turned on, and Ace was standing outside of my cell. Ace, what are you doing here? He told me that since I didn't return home, he had a bad feeling that I'd been caught. Oh, thank goodness. It's great to see you. Can you get me out of here? Of course, Robot Warden. Uh, just take a step back from me, will ya? Thank you so much. Look at that. Now you're free to go. Let's get out of here together, friend. Not without my equipment first, Ace. We snuck around the lair and found all my weapons and armor inside of it. Nice. I also found a rocket launcher upgrade for my cannon. This is going to make my cannon that much stronger. We continued looking around and found an area that contained the Karmic Nuke Core. There it is, Ace. If we get that, Talos is finished. Is that right? We turned around and saw Talos towering over us. Uh, I think it's time to run. Yeah, it is. Talos chases down, shooting his laser at us. We were able to dodge them, and I used my new rocket launcher to blast open an exit. As we got close to the exit, Talos got me with a laser. Ah! Go on without me, Ace. I'll hold them off. Are you crazy? You're a robot warden. He didn't listen to me and forced my systems to leave the lair prison without him. Ace, what are you doing? I'm making sure that you save the world, Bozo. Please, do it for me. Friend. All I could do was helplessly watch and run away as Talos destroyed my friend. No! On days 45 to 47, I made it back to base. Man, he's gone. Ace is really gone. He sacrificed himself so I could escape. And he was the only one that believed in me. How am I going to be able to continue on without him? I looked around at all the villagers at my base. I can't give up on them now. I just can't. I decided to start working on it. I expanded it to give myself more room. And was really starting to feel a little better. I had to remain strong for Ace. If he believed in me, I couldn't let my best friend die in vain. I knew where that nuke core was, but I needed to find the ultimate battery. I read about its location and then headed off toward it. Kilion, I have an important task for you. Anything you wish. Find the device to amplify the signal. I traveled through a thick forest on my search for the ultimate battery. I realized I was approaching the center. As I walked through the forest, my scanners indicated that it was full of mind-controlled creatures. I wanted to save them, so it felt wrong to fight these creatures now. I decided it was best to avoid them and continue toward the battery. I journeyed deeper into the forest and then came across an abandoned factory. The factory must have been very old because it was covered in vines. I went into the factory and scanned the area in search of the the battery. My readings didn't indicate any tracings, though. This has to mean one thing. This wasn't a factory where the ultimate battery was. This is the factory where it was created. I walked throughout it and eventually found instructions on how they created the battery. I was gonna need to collect a lot of redstone. I left the forest and headed toward a nearby cave. Inside the cave, I was able to find a bunch of redstone. I collected it and then spotted some diamonds inside as well. I used the diamonds to craft myself a chest plate and then headed back toward the factory. On days 51 to 53, I arrived back at the factory and read the instructions for the battery one last time. I applied the redstone to power the machine. Everything was still overgrown, so I tried to remove the vines. As I broke one, I heard a massive rumbling from behind me, and a large plant sprouted out from the floor. Another robot here to restart the factory? The plant prepared a fight, but I stopped it. Wait, wait, I'm trying to put an end to this entire robotic takeover. I explained to the plant why I was here and what I needed from the factory. I just want the battery. I'm not sure if I can believe you. I have been deceived by many in the past. I swear. I need the battery so I can put an end to the robotic monster, Talos. I need you to trust me. The plant looked at me and said it can sense I was more alive than all the other robots. Do not fail us, robot warden. The plant retreated back into the ground and removed its vines from the machine. I turned the machine on and the ultimate battery was created. I'm one 
step closer to obtaining the warden laser and putting an end to all of this. I returned to base and quickly went to my home. I used some of my spare wood to craft a chest and stash the unobtainium as well as the ultimate battery. I couldn't let something like this fall into the wrong hands. As I walked out of my house, more villagers entered. I asked them how they found this place and they told me that word spread that apparently this place was safe from evil robots. Well, you heard it right. You guys can stay here as long as you guys like. The villagers all seemed very eager to share their homes with the new residents. As I watched the villager walk away, I realized I couldn't let anything happen to these people. And they're all I have left with Rick and Ace gone. I owed it to them more than anyone else in this world to defeat Talos and his army. I headed to rest for the night. You live to serve me now. Yeah, what is your thing? There is a warden that must be destroyed. On days 57 and 59, I was woken up to the sounds of chaos at my base. What was going on out there? Ace? What are you doing? Destroy Fozo! I begged for him to talk with me, but it was obvious that he was not willing to listen. What has Talos done to my friend? He was destroying my base and was about to attack the villagers when I started to fight back. I hit him with my new rocket upgrade and then began to fight against him with the laser blade. I was quickly starting to overpower him. I don't want to do this. Please, listen to me. Destroy Fozo. Save the world, Fozo. Please, do it for me, friend. I can't defeat him. I have to save him. In my hesitation, Ace had run off and escaped. Oh, I'll fix you, buddy. Just you wait. Ah, there it is. Dallos will be very pleased with me. I began to repair all the damages that Ace had caused. I never imagined my friend could do something like that. It took a while, but I eventually was able to repair my own house and all of the villagers' houses. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to save Ace, but I had to focus on the laser for right now. I turned to the villagers and tried to see if any of them had information on a way I could slow the robots down. One of the villagers shared the location of a factory he believed might be where some of the robot minions were being created. Since this was my only lead, I headed off that way. I arrived at the factory and was attacked by robotic mech suits. They packed a punch, but I was able to take most of them down. I found something strange. It looked like a schematic for Ace. There were coordinates on it as well. Oh man. I went off and exploded the factory before heading off toward the coordinates on the schematic. On day 63 to 65, I went through the world trying to find the coordinates on the schematic. As I reached the coordinates, I spotted a strange old laboratory. What is this place? Something felt strange. Hello, Fozo. I'm glad you were able to find this. There was another transmission from Rick. What is this place? Why did Ace's schematic have this location on it? He told me he created Ace as one of his first prototypes. Like Talos, he was created for good. Talos has obviously changed who Ace is, but he is not lost. But how can I save him? What can I do? Rick said that unlike Talos, he was going to be able to be reprogrammed much easier. There is a debug tool that will be able to fix him. You must craft it. Rick gave me the recipe to make the tool and then said he would speak to me one last time before fading away. I have to go and get these materials quickly. As I made my way to the cave, I noticed that the world was more robotic. Some more of Talos's robot animals were lurking around. I did my best to avoid them and continued to travel. Talos was getting closer to taking over. I went inside the cave and hoped it had enough of the materials I needed to create the debug tool. Using my drill, I collected a large amount of redstone and then began to look for the strange platinum ore. I was able to find some along with diamonds deeper in the cave. Using the diamonds I collected, I crafted myself a diamond armor set. Nice. I should be much more protected now. Now I can finally go and save Ace. Suddenly, I picked up a distress signal not far from me. Oh, I wanted to go save my friend, but I knew he would never forgive me if I ignored a cry for help. I went off and made my way towards the distress signal. Don't worry, Ace. I'll save you soon. On days 69 to 71, I continued to follow the distress signal. I had everything I needed for the debug tool, but I needed to find out what was going on. I entered a strange area and began to look around. What was going on with this place? So, you have fallen into my trap! 
It was Killian, and he emerged with a group of robotic wolves. They rushed at me, but stood no chance with all my new upgrades. You will never win while I'm still standing. The robotic knight rushed at me and slammed the ground with his hammer. I was ready, though, and able to avoid the attack. With my rocket launcher, I was able to hurt him a lot. I could tell Killian was growing angry, and he was able to land a few hits on me. But with my diamond armor, it wasn't very effective. I had to take him out. Now, this is my chance. I rushed at him with my laser sword and began to hit him rapidly. She was defeated and exploded in a large ball of electricity. Now, all that was left was the free ace and take Talos out. Rise, my robotic army. Rise and take over the world. On day 72 to 74, while I was traveling back to base, a strange radio wave passed my body. I didn't know what that was, but I had a hunch that Talos had something to do with it. After my systems readjusted, I realized that a nearby area was under attack from more robots. I went over and saw a city completely overrun. All the villagers had a strange helmet on too. This must have been the aftermath of that radio wave. The city was completely under Talos's control. I scanned the area and found people surrounded by robotic spiders and used my rocket launcher to destroy them. But more of them were emerging. I asked the citizens to come with me, but one stopped and said, I want to serve Talos. These people were being controlled too. I couldn't fight them, so I had no choice but to leave. Is this the kind of world that you want, Talos? A world that only serves you? If I didn't stop him, I knew that this would be the outcome. I made it back to base and quickly went inside my lab to create the debug tool. The debug tool was finally made and I used my scanners to track down Ace. Once I freed him, I planned to free everyone under his control. On days 75 to 77, I began to search for Ace. I was able to track him thanks to the debug tool. I noticed Ace was destroying buildings and attacking villagers. Ace! Stop! This isn't you! Uh, destroy humanity! He started a fight with me! Please, stop! Try to control yourself! I prepared the debug tool, but he kept attacking! Fight against it! You're better than this! I could see Ace stop for a second, and his eyes changed from red back to the normal color. What is happening? It was my chance! I used the debug tool on him, and he powered down for a second before returning to his normal self. Uh I attack those people. Oh, monster, Fozo. Oh, monster. No, no, no. You're, you're not, okay? That was Talos. He was controlling you. That wasn't really you. We need to focus our anger and attention on him and use this to stop him. Ace told me to follow him. We were going to need to get that nuke core from Talos's base. And then I would be able to defeat him once and for all. Right behind you, buddy. On day 78 to 80, we landed on the outskirts of Talos's lair. There were robot guards blocking our way inside. We knew that the best thing to do was to sneak inside. Ace had a plan and used a distress signal to lure the guards away from the entrance. Nice. We quietly made our way inside the lair and I followed Ace to the nuke core. As we headed for the core, we passed a larger tower and I stopped to scan it. My scanners indicated that the tower was a beacon for Talos's mind control. We needed to find that nuke core and fast. We made it to a room and found the nuke core. I quickly grabbed it and we prepared to leave. Oh, good. Now we can finally leave this stupid little Dump. What are you doing here? Whatever you think you're making will have no effect on my mind control. Ah, oh, jeez. I spoke too soon again, didn't I? <laughs> Talos was behind us, so I had no choice but to fight our way out. I used my laser sword to try and slice him, but it had no effect. Talos tried to blast Ace, but I shielded him using my body. Not again. I won't let you take him. I fired my rocket launchers at Talos, but it was only moderately effective on him. I can't beat him without my sonic boom. So Ace and I quickly ran out of the lair and flew off. On days 81 to 85, we arrived back at base with everything we needed to construct my sonic boom. We're almost done, Ace. The world is gonna make it, thanks to us. No, you silly robot. Thanks to you. He told me that everyone here believed in me. You know, Rick would be proud of you. The villagers came out and told me that they were so thankful that I showed compassion to protect them. They worried that Talos is gonna win before I showed up. Well, I have one last thing I have to do. I went inside the lab and tried to construct a sonic boom. But something was wrong. Am I missing something? Oh no. Activate the tower. 
Suddenly, there was a flash of light that covered the entire world. My systems automatically readjusted, and everyone in the village was completely under Talos' mind control. I am Talos. Ace, we need to get out of here right now. Ace tried to attack me, and I quickly dodged him. Ace, not you too. All hail Talos again. I had no choice but to run off and leave them. I had to find somewhere safe. I went over a small village to see if Talos reached this place. And my fears were right. Talos had now the entire world under his control. I tried to think if there's anywhere I could be safe, and I realized there might be one last spot. On days 91 and 94, I returned back to where I'd been created. As I entered the destroyed laboratory, Rick popped up again. Hello, Pozo. I'm happy you've made it this far. I failed, Rick. Talos has now taken over everything, and the sonic boom didn't even work. You have not failed. You are merely missing something I had Rick pointed toward a wall, and I broke it, revealing a chest. Inside the chest was an overclocker? What is this for? He told me that this was the final piece for the sonic boom. He had to hide it and leave it out of the instructions in case Talos found the manual before us. Now you have everything you need. This will be the last time we speak. Rick, wait! I can't do this without you! You are the robot warden, the bridge between humanity and the robots. Be the savior this world needs, Fozo. He faded away. Be the savior. I crafted the sonic boom and tested it out. It was a vibrant red color too! Now, all that is left is to defeat Talos and save everyone. I landed in front of the entrance to Talos' lair, and the guards are there waiting for me. I used my rocket launcher to blow one of the guards away. The other guards tried to shoot me, but I dodged his attacks, and finish him off with my laser sword. I made my way to the tower, and Talos was waiting for me with Ace. If you want to get to me, you have to fight your friend first. Fight this, Ace! I know you don't want to do this! All who oppose Talos must be destroyed! Ace rushed me, but I dodged his attack! I don't want to fight you! He continued his onslaught and blasted me onto the ground! What are you going to do, Fozo? Will you fight your friend to save the world? Ah, I was so angry! All I want is my friend back! He continued to attack, and I realized there's no use. I charged my sonic boom. Stop now! He didn't listen, and I was about to hit him. At the last second, I had an idea and redirected the laser at the tower. The sonic boom connected with it and destroyed the signal. No! Ace stopped trying to attack, and I knew that he and everyone else were no longer under Talos' control. Talos rushed at me, and I was prepared, but he flew past me and quickly left the area. I went off after him. I won't let you go that easily. On day 100, I followed Talos to a mount and used my rocket launcher to knock him down to the ground. He crashed and landed at the top of a mountain. There's still a chance for you to right your wrongs, Talos. Give up now and live to help humanity, not destroy it. I will never give up. As long as I live, I will make sure that robots will rule this world. Then I guess we have no choice but to finish this once and for all. Talos fired his eye laser at me and I quickly dodged his attack. I used my laser sword to try and stab him, but he turned into a fist and punched me away. Ah, you pesky robot warden, you will die here. Talos charged up for another punch, but I waited until the last second to dodge. I knew that he would need time to charge, so I took advantage of the opportunity to use my sonic boom right on him, and he exploded right in front of me. Talos was finally defeated. Hopefully with him gone, humans and robots can now live in peace.